first step in Electra is to define a new project. To do that I will run the project command. In the project dialog box I will define a new project where all project folders will be stored. And I will type a name demonstration. After that the path of the folder the path of the project is written here and I'll click OK and now I will define the axis parameters so in the parameters dialog box user can define the axis name the starting the ending station the draping to surface option and some other parameters. New axis is now uh, listed in the axis manager and now user can define the category. Two standards are integrated into Electra. I will use that one. Also the wind zones and the land categories can be defined here. The next step is to create a digital terrain model based on our survey data. If I rotate the image, you can see that elevation points are also available. So now I will run the DTM command and, name and enter the name of the surface. In the Create Surface dialog box, I will select the source data. In my example, I have basic AutoCAD points. And I will click the plus sign to add components from the drawing. At the end, I would like to draw the triangles and click Apply you can see that triangles are now created for a better presentation of the surface we can also check it in the object viewer now let's change it to the top view Let's make the image a little bit transparency. Let's type here the 40. Okay. Okay. And I would like to show you some additional settings here in for the DTM. So I'll run again the DTM command and let's turn off the triangles and let's draw the contours I'll click apply you can see now that contours are displayed but user have still some additional options for the contours such as the uh, general settings which means layers and uh, colors and also the major and minor contour intervals so I will change the contour intervals to 5 and 1 meter and for example I'll change the color uh, of the contours. Let's say I will leave it like this. Okay. There is also an option available to label the contours. To do this I will run the label contours command. In the command line I'll select settings. Here I would like to label the surface name surface which is the only one available currently. I'll select the standard text style. The text height will be 5 units and 2 decimal places. 
and the labeling method I would like to label only major contours now I will show the starting station of the label line and vertexes at the intersection with the contours the elevations are displayed and now we have the polyline which means that we can still move the vertexes and the labels are refreshed